Transparency, honesty, and teaching the Word of God. Welcome to Greater Works Community Fellowship Church, encouraging God's children to encourage the world. Now, let's prepare our hearts, mind, and our spirit to hear the Word of God, be moved by the Word of God, and be encouraged to act on God's church, God's Word, and minister to the nations. God bless you. God bless you. I am Pastor Gordon McKinney of Greater Works Community Fellowship Church in Wake Forest, North Carolina. I thank God for you joining in on Facebook Live this morning. This is a special day. Happy Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day. And I ask God, I pray that God blesses all the mothers out there on this day. Today we have a special treat for you. Today we have none other than Pastor Sharon Denise Ebay of San Diego, California. Miss uh, Pastor Ebay is the pastor of the International House of Prayer of San Diego. She is under the covering of my father, Bishop George Dallas McKinney of Second Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction in Southern California, the Church of God in Christ. We just thank God for what God is doing uh, in Greater Works Community Fellowship. Pastor Ebay is also a radio personality. He's on God Radio 1, and her show is Get, 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 Get Up Show. And so, we just, she's a wonderful woman with all types of talents. She's also the wife of Prince Oscar Raymond of Nigeria. We have royal today, Princess Sharon Denise Ebay. We just thank God for her. We are totally best on this morning. So at, without further ado, be blessed as she shares the word of God on this morning. Be blessed. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you and bring you greetings from San Diego, California. Just want to say happy Mother's Day to every mother. And even if you've never birthed a mother, you're still a mother. And so we want to greet each and every woman. We want to say thank God for the body of Christ. We want to praise God that God has allowed us to come together today. Mothers are wonderful. Oh, my God. Mothers are amazing. They do wonders in our life. And I think about how the word of God says that God does wondrous works. And if you were blessed to be birthed into the world, that was wonderful. And so I have a beautiful sermonic solo coming from Minister Kimberly Watt, who just uh, God blessed her with this song in her prayer time. And it's wonderful. And I want to say happy Mother's Day to her as well as she comes to minister this song to you. Please sit back and just say la and let the word of God and let the word of these songs, this song, just minister to your heart. Let's bless the Lord together as we declare how wonderful God is. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Matchless in how awesome, perfect in all your ways, and you never change. Omnipotent, mighty. Incredible, greater than anything. No one compares to you. You are wonderful. You are wonderful. All praises be to the King of Kings. For you are wonderful. Hallelujah. We bless you, Jesus. You've been faithful, kind, and merciful. And sweet are your thoughts towards me. Forever loving me. And I'm so grateful you're in my life, keeping me safe in your loving arms. You're the Lord of all, yet so mindful of me. You 
quicken each and everything, make them alive. Bring grace, open up our minds and our hearts that we may receive the grace that is available unto us, that has been given to us. Thank you, God, that you commanded your love towards us yet while we were in sin. And we bless you for it now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen and amen. We're coming from the book of Genesis. In my church, we always open up with John 1 and 1, where we talk about in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And then I add to that, if you want to know God, you got to know your word. Communing with the word of God is the, is the very blessed place that he's allowed us to be in. This word is not a mystery. It's for you to know. It's for you to hear. And I thank you for the word that's going to be preached on today. Go to your Bibles. Go to Genesis chapter 2, verse 23. Genesis chapter 2, verse 23. First and foremost, before I read this scripture, I want to say thank you to your beautiful pastor and his lovely wife, uh, Mr. and Mrs. McKinney, Gordon McKinney. I thank you for the opportunity to come and be a servant. I thank God for my bishop, who's the covering of the International House of Prayer of San Diego, Bishop George Dallas McKinney, who I'm completely, utterly submitted unto. I don't think that you should try to lead anybody unless you can submit under a leadership and what a great leadership that I have been allowed to submit under. And I just want to say, thank God. I want to definitely say happy mother's day to the motherboard of the church. Cause I tell you, we are uh, missing the uh, saints of old. And so if you have saints of old, I want to say happy mother's day, mother. I just, my heart pours out to you a river of love that will be endless and I'm praying for you. I want to thank God also for every mother that is on their post during this time of the COVID virus. It's not an easy thing, but I got a word that's going to lift you up. I got a word that's going to cover you and take you in. And to all my new mothers that are walking new in motherhood, God bless you. You have now been inducted to the Hall of Fame. Mothering is a wonderful gift from God that we don't understand the preciousness of the gift. God bless you, my brothers, every brother and every man and every father. God bless you. Thank you so much because without your seed, we could not be mothers. And without you being under the, uh, uh, under the guidance of the Holy Spirit in the blessed place, there could be no mothers. I don't care what circumstances you found yourself in motherhood, it was still God's grace, his unmerited favor that allowed you to be a mother. So listen, I don't care uh, if your mother was present, if she wasn't present, God put somebody in your life that uh, carried you to the place where you are today. So this word is going to bring healing, is going to bring deliverance, and you've got to open up your heart to receive what God has for you. Genesis chapter 2, verse 23, and it said, uh, but I want to go up. That's going to be my scripture that I'm going to preach from, but I want to go to 22, and we're going to uh, come on in from 21 but 23 is going to be my scripture where I preach from. And the Lord, and verse 21, and the Lord, and the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up his flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord had taken from the man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, this is the bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. My word today is taken out to birth greatness. Taken out to birth greatness. You need to understand that you have been taken out of something that was already walking in authority, already walking in dominion, 
already set here, good God Almighty. So when you came out, you didn't have to learn how to walk in the authority. You didn't have to learn how to take dominion. You just needed to understand that you were the suitable mate. Good God Almighty. Scripture said he could not find a suitable mate. And so God formed him a suitable mate, took it out of him. You were the suitable mate that God designed to go forth in the world. You are the birth of mankind. You are the birth of human, of humanity. I get excited when I think about that a uh, woman actually became the first mankind, humanity, and God has entrusted you to can continue birthing humanity, continue bringing forth, continue. When I think about the mothers that have birthed great men and great women of God, God designed you to birth greatness. God designed me to birth greatness. And the devil is a liar. Today, you are going to understand why you designed, what God put in you, and why he wanted you specifically to do what you're doing. Don't allow depression to come in today. Don't allow heartache to come in today. Today, put a period on that grief if you've lost your mother, because the scripture says we do not grieve as the world do, as if we have no hope. Now you're going to understand why you went through what you went through, and it's now for such a time like this, as the spirit of motherhood has been usurped from this world, not just this country, but this world, as the mothers of home have, of old have got on the glory train and went home, they're throwing mantles. And you need to be prepared to catch your mantle. Their watch is over. Your watch has now just begun. God's waiting for you to birth things. How is he waiting for you to birth things? First of all, there's a natural uh, uh, information, knowledge, worth that you need to walk in. After that, you need to now allow it to renew your mind, and then you need it to grab root in your heart. And thirdly, but the greatest of all, spiritually. Spiritually, you are needed right now. So let me tell you what your worth is. Let me tell you why God has called you for such a time as this. Number one, a woman is naturally created differently than a man. In my study of woman, the first thing that it says is that a woman is a wife, a mother, a daughter. Hallelujah. God, we thank you. So we've been created naturally. Our bodies are created different than a man. That's why I, I need you to understand and to embrace your womanhood. Like I stated before, that when I study what a woman is, it said uh, woman, mother, wife, daughter, sister, all of these things are who you are. Don't deny any one of them. And I love it because God was so strategic that at the fall of man, he had already made a decision, decision that I'm going to use women to birth greatness. Hallelujah. I'm going to use women to birth greatness. So our bodies are designed to, to, uh, to nurture, to suckle, to feed. Our bodies are designed to carry, to hold. Our bodies are to die, designed to transition. Our bodies go through a transition. Our bodies are able, and then it recedes and comes back. Those women that have had children where your cervix has to expand, to produce, to push out that which is in you. So you've got to embrace the fact that your body has been designed to birth greatness. I need you to understand that we're designed to take things in, carry them, and then birth them forth. Designed to take things in then carry them and birth things forth. On my radio show, I talked about how the father is the father of lies. So he'll drop seeds. 
he'll drop seeds. But God gives his word in the form of a seed. And you've got to make a decision. What are you about to birth? What are you about to come bring forth? So you've got to reject the devil so he will flee because he wants to bring seeds. He, he wants to use your body as a place uh, to manifest what he wants, but you've been designed to manifest God's glory. You need to reevaluate what you've even birthed naturally. As a mother, we've got to look at our children because where they are today will not determine where they're going to be tomorrow. Scripture said that in much pain, hallelujah, he told her much pain or you are going to birth uh uh the man into the world birth the seed into the world and god is still birthing 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 he's still birthing greatness into the world so you need to understand your perspective needs to change towards even some of the natural things that you have birthed in the world where the enemy is trying to run interference the scripture says that moses was a proper child and it took more than one mother to carry him to where he needs to be. You need to thank God for aunties and grandmothers and uh, cousins and friends and neighborhoods that's helping carry that child that you have birthed into the world. You need to understand all the pain that you went through to bring this great child into the world because having a child is something that is miraculous, that is amazing, it's wonderful. That's why I started off with that song, God, you're wonderful. You need to look at where the enemy may be attacking your child, but maybe it's not that your child is falling away, but your child is not yet stepped into the greatness that God has called him to be. I'm built for this. I was built for this. So if mama still needs to stop you and you not to make you but now I suckle you in another way. I mentally now look at where the enemy is coming against you, and I'm able to call those things that be not as though they were. I need to build you in another way because you're not a baby necessarily that you were, but now you have grown. You're coming into your own. You're coming to full age. You need to look at those children that's still wondering if so. No, God's about to do a wonderful work in you because I've been designed. I carried you success. Oh my God. I carried you successfully. I birthed you in the world and the everything that God blessed me to be, blessed me to carry into the world. The next place I said, you've got to change and embrace. You ready? Change who you are and the view of who you are. The work of who you are. The enemy will come in and Try to bamboozle you, lie to you, make you be less than who you are. So my mind has to be renewed to understand I was built to take things. I was built to take things. And I love it because that's where you produce. That's where you bring forth. That's where you kill man. Because he said, wait a minute. I've been surrounded by these orangutans. I've been surrounded by these oh, elephants. Man. I've been surrounded by these lizards. Now, I'm about to my seed because there's a word that says, as long as seed, hallelujah, is in the earth, seed time and harvest. He understood that woman was about to bring forth his seed. He said, woo, man, I'm about to be surrounded by people like me, about to be surrounded by the things that God has for me. I'm about to surround myself. He said, that's why he looked at her and said, you bone of my bone, your flesh to my flesh. I'm going to call you, woo, man. Woo, I'm about to begin to do that. 
which is inside of me. I've been yearning to birth something out, but God had to take you out of me so you can birth the greatness that God placed in both of us. Because when he created man, he created us both. I just hold the seed, you just hold the womb, and when we get together, I'm gonna make you a mama. I'm gonna make you a mother. You a mother of mankind. You a mother, hallelujah, of humanity. Do you know how amazing that is? That through our womb, the answer of COVID virus is getting ready to cut forth. Do you know how amazing that is? The fact that we know how to carry things, our elderly is not too much for us to go and serve and love. We got to know that it's time for our cervix to expand. I understand it feels tight right now, but once the glory of God steps in, we're gonna start expanding our reach, expanding our mind, expanding our spirit so God can come in hold us and wrap us in his arms and take us through everything we need to think, be taken through. Then spiritually, hey, spiritually, do you realize that we are the bride of Christ? We are his pride, bride, and the scripture says that uh, Jesus is the second Adam. <laughs> Jesus is the second Adam. And because Jesus is the second Adam, and we are his bride, that God is calling us to extend this gospel past a race, past a people's ideology, past the devil, that we have been called as the bride. That's why I bring my men into that there's a mother in nature in the body of Christ in the church that has to raise up and begin to extend this hand, extend your arm, begin to nurture, nurture those who are lost so that blinded eyes can open. So we begin to walk and follow Christ. That's where the submission comes in. It's not necessarily that a man is greater than a woman. We got different positions. I'm glad to be a mother. I'm glad to be the bride of Christ where I'm able now to take the seed, which is the word of God, plant it in this wonderful body of mine. It's about to bring forth greatness. You don't understand, but you're about to birth greatness. In 2020, he said it was a double portion. Baby, some of us is pregnant with quadruples. Some of us is pregnant, hallelujah, with uh, twins, and it's time to birth. It's time to expand. It's not time to retreat during this COVID virus. God bless you right now for such a time as this. He needs you to be a mother. And the scripture said, I love it. And Jeremiah is just like during the times of Jeremiah. Hello, ding dong, who's home? They just, uh, and when you go back and you read Jeremiah 9, it talks about they were deceitful men. They were lying men. They had no answers. When you turn on the news, they lying, they lying, they lying, they lying. They don't know how to fix this thing. But Jeremiah said, oh, it is like fire shut up in my bones. He said, listen, I'm going to not let the present state of this generation stay where it is. Somebody call for the morning women. Somebody call for why did he call forth the mothers? And in, in, in my uh, imagination, Jeremiah was sitting around and he was hungry and thirsting righteousness. And the men just couldn't do it for him. He said, somebody bring me some ribs. Somebody bring me some ribs. Not just my ribs, but everybody ribs. I need some ribs to be gathered. I need some women that have been ordained for such a time as this, because they understand what it is to birth something. We're about to birth a move of God to this world that nobody has seen. So they said, call forth the morning and cunning women. Call forth and let them pray. Let them pray and change this generation. If you a mother, I want you to know right now, you got to rise up as the body of Christ. And it's time to birth these babies. It's time to expand this uh, service, birth visions, 
birth newness, birth out the move of God that God has called us into. Hallelujah. You need to be happy that Jesus Christ came into your life. And if you're not saved, the importance of why you've been built and shaped the way that you are shaped and God is looking for you. God is waiting on you. If you're not saved, but you, you're saying, Pastor Sharon, I'm heavy right now. I'm not sure of who I am. I don't know what my purpose is. If you're a woman, a woman God's calling you. And all the older says, teach your children, teach your daughters specifically how to well. Well. There's a welling in you. There's a concern about what's going on around you. If you're one of the natural first responders and you're seeing people die, if you're tired within your spirit, oh, God is just saying, well, well, cry. And you cunning women that understands what, understand what they're going through, take them in your arms and say, baby, just cry. Be a midwife. Tell them that they got something in their spirit that God is trying to birth. But if you don't know Jesus Christ, you need to know Jesus. You're not going to make it. The body of Christ which is the bride, which means woman, which means mother, that we're here to take this gospel to another level. It's our time. The mothers of old have left, and it's our watch. If you don't know Jesus, just repeat after me. I'll just agree with this prayer. Father, I believe that your son, Jesus, he came, he lived, he died, and he was resurrected for my sins. I believe this. I confess my sins. Forgive me. After you ask God to forgive you, then God, I'm praying that they would open up their hearts. And you said, with confession, we confess Christ, but in a heart is where the belief takes root. And if you believe that and you're in need of a Savior, just say, Lord, save me in Jesus' name. God bless you. It has been my pleasure to bring this Mother Day word to you. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let every woman that is heavy laden, we bind it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every woman that does not feel great worth, let her know she was birthed to do great things for you. And God, let the anointing of the Holy Ghost begin to take ever, everyone under the sound of my voice, woman, man, child, boy, teenagers. God, I thank you right now for every teenage mother that doesn't understand that their life is not ruined, it is not over, you still have things in store for them. Bring everything that pertains to every mother, every family, and I pray, God, for the mothers of the church today. God, we say thank you. Let a spirit of gratitude come over them like never before, that they would understand that we are grateful for them. And God, we give you glory and we give you honor. Every chain be broken right now. Depression, we bind you. Hatred, we bind you. Low self-worth, we come against you. God, now let this word penetrate to the heart minds of your people that people will be saved all over the world and we thank you for those who received you as their personal lord and savior in jesus name we pray come on and bless the lord with me hallelujah hallelujah oh. glory to god hallelujah hallelujah thank you god hallelujah glory Hallelujah. Woo, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank hey. you. Lord. Mm. Mm. Hi, la, 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 la. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hey. Hallelujah. What a Woo. wonderful word. What a wonderful word. We thank God for Pastor Sharon Ebay for blessing us on this wonderful Mother's Day. And and, and uh, one of the things she really uh, hit home is the fact that 
you know, we are all destined to, to birth. Birth is, 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 we are all ready and God has designed us to, to birth great things out of each and every one of us. You could be mad, but God has impregnated you with, with a gift. God has impregnated you with an anointing. And it's time for God to allow things to open up in your life to the point where you are just about to give birth. And so it is just a, this word was amazing. And, and one of the other things she said was, there's a time to put a period on your grief. There's a time that, that a period will have to come. And, and a, we, we are, sometimes we are uh, carrying around years of, of work, years of suffering and years of things. And God is saying it's time to put a period on it. And let's 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 move forward and and celebrate the Lord and because He's done so many great things for us. And so I just I just thank God for that word. That word was wonderful, 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 wonderful. We have been treated. Thank you so much. And and I, I thank God for Sister Kimberly Knight. Wonderful worship uh, leading uh, on this morning. We just thank God for both of you. We are just we are. I'm on cloud nine right now. I'm on cloud nine. I did not let you know, but we were trying to get uh, Pastor to come out this year, but you know, as you know, COVID-19 uh, decided differently. But it's just, it's not denied, it's just delayed. And, and we're gonna have you come back and, and we're gonna have, uh, have you bless our ministry in a mighty way, because that word was so powerful and we, gonna, we need more, amen? Yeah. Amen. All right, as you know, we are, participating in communion during this time. It is our mission to, to have communion and to commune during this, this, this season, this, this uh, COVID-19 season. And we have been praying that during this time, we're gonna commune and until this, this disease dissipates, till it's over. And we're trusting God that God is going to, to heal our land. And so at this time, I want each and every one to get prepared. You have your sacraments. Get yourself prepared as we uh, go into communion. Amen. Thank God for being able to participate in the Lord's Supper. Jesus was telling his disciples before his gruesome encounter with the cross. He had an intimate meal with his friends, and, and he discussed the things that were to take place. He talked about how he would be crushed, how he would bleed and die for the sins of humanity. And during that time, he, he told his friends that this is something that you will do in remembrance of me, in remembrance of me. And so God is, 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 is allowed us to be able to participate in this holy sacrament in which we call Holy Communion. And on that night, he, he took the bread. He said grace, he, and then he broke the bread. He said, this body will be broken for you. Take, break, and eat. And then on that same night, he, he uh, took his cup, 
And he said, this wine is symbolizes the blood that will be shed for the remissions of sins. Take, drink, drink ye all of it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God, glory to God. Let's give God praise. Let's give God praise at this time. Amen. 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 Again, I, I want to thank Pastor Ebay for Ebay for blessing the church. We are truly blessed. Amen. Amen. And God is 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 really uh using you in a mighty way. She is my sister. She 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 hails from San Diego, California. Amen. And that's 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 the land of of sunshine and, and the best Mexican food in the world. Amen. <laughs> and we just thank God for you. You just had a wonderful word. I, 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 just, I just thank God for you. I also want to thank God for all the mothers. I thank God for my wonderful, lovely, beautiful, vivacious wife. Uh, she's a mother. She's a. She. You were talking about all those roles. She's a. She's a daughter. She's a sister. She. She has. She has all those roles checked. And she's. And, and this day we we celebrate her because she's. She's the mother of my children. Yeah. Amen. I thank God for her. And I just. I, I praise God for you. And my my mother in law's here. She's somewhere on the line. Amen. I thank God. She's big mama. She. We thank God for her. She she's been she's been a blessing to she's been staying with us she's been a blessing and she is a she is our church mother amen so I thank God for a mother Ollie Sproles amen but I thank God for for all the mothers I I um you said something about the you know you know uh, there are people that are have lost their mother especially during this season and I I I want to let you know we're praying for you and and. Um, I also want to let you know that trouble doesn't last always. Um, I lost my mother, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Jean C. McKinney. She was a beautiful woman of God. For those who remember her, uh, it, it, you know, it, it, she passed away back in 04. And it, and I, you know, it's, you know, a day doesn't go by that I don't think about her and the, the words of wisdom that she shared with me. And for those who have lost their mothers, we will continue to pray for you during this time, but we just thank God that we had them. Amen. And, and they are such a wonderful, God really knew what he was doing when he, when he, when he, when he created woman, uh, a pastor said, woo, man, <laughs> I, I, I like that. That, that I, I think I'm going to use that. Amen. <laughs> but I, I think, I thank God for the word. We have a few announcements. Um, I thank God for those who were help with that helped with the mass giveaway. Uh, on last Wednesday, we had a wonderful time. We gave out several, a number of masks to the community. Uh, we want to make sure that we as a church, we're helping to combat this COVID-19, this, this coronavirus. So we, we, what we've done is we've been able to acquire uh, disposable masks and gloves and vitamin C and various things to help people cope during this time. And we're going to continue to do this. We're going to also be giving away uh, more masks on the 16th of this month, which is next Saturday. And so I want to ask all those that can help out, come on out. We're going to just be giving out. My goal is to give away at least a thousand masks in the month of May. So uh, that is my prayer. I, I, I know that you all can help. You know, you can also donate if you can uh, to the cause so that we can reach that goal. I just thank God for what we are doing. I also want to send a shout out to the ladies of Greater Works Community Fellowship. During the whole month, last month, they had a solemn assembly. And they, they uh, all together, they, they went through the whole entire book of Proverbs and they fasted, they, they <laughs> prayed for the ministry, prayed for, for uh, the, 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 the body of believers. They were used of God to, to, to be the ladies, the ladies on the wall, amen. They, they, they amen. prayed for us and I thank God and evangelist, our, our district missionary evangelist, Nina McKinney, she, she headed it up. And all the, all the ladies, they just had a great time. Uh, I think they, they believe, I believe they had it every Saturday. And God blessed them in a mighty way. So I just thank God. God Amen. 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 So uh, as you see, our church, we're involved in a lot of community activities because we are Greater Works Community Fellowship. 
and yeah. community is part of our name. So, and, and being uh, effective in the community, you know, ministry uh, requires finance. And so you can bless our ministry and be partners to our ministry by uh, giving to our, our uh, uh, cash app. Our cash app is dollar sign GWCF Ministries. Also, you, we are also on Givelify. You go on the website and do a search to our church. You will see us there. You have the opportunity to give there. And also you can go on our website, shallyoudo.org. There uh, you can uh, pay. You'll see the PayPal insignia, and you'll be able to bless us. And, 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 and so we just thank God for what God is doing. Uh, uh, Pastor uh, uh, Sharon Ebay, I want to know if you're still there. I want you to uh, give us a benediction. We, like I said, you just totally blessed this ministry on this morning, and we thank God for you coming all the way. She's a, she's a wonderful woman of God, and she she came all the way. She's preaching all the way from San Diego, California, and we were blessed all the way here in Wake Forest, North Carolina. So at this time, without further ado, if you can give us uh, a benediction, we would greatly appreciate you, appreciate it. Amen. Amen. Once again, I want to say happy Mother's Day to all the women and just say God bless you and celebrate yourself the rest of today. It has been my pleasure to be with you and I'm just grateful. I want to thank God also for Minister Kim Watt that ministered the song with me. Love her dearly. Uh, wonderful is the song. It's been getting me through my days. Just remember just how wonderful God is. Once again, happy Mother's Day to you. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for bringing us together today that you assembled us as a great web from different places, different times, and different locations. But you've connected us as a great web for you to go out and catch those who are lost. We're going to drop our nets because the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. I pray, God, that this word be engrafted and rooted in their hearts, that it may manifest your glory today and forevermore. And so today we give and we give you glory until you bring us back together again. In Jesus' name we pray. And don't forget to get, 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 get up. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Praise God. We just thank God for each and every one of you. Be blessed. Happy Mother's Day. And just have a wonderful time in the Lord on this beautiful day. Amen. Amen. Facebook Live, we thank Amen. God for you tuning in. Be blessed. Have a wonderful day. Take care now. We hope you are encouraged and empowered by the Word of God today. Remember, if you would like to support this ministry, simply tell others and go to our website at www.shalyoudo.org. That's www.shalyoudo.org. Or if you would just like to give, you can go to our homepage on our website and click the Donate button. Remember, that's www.shalyoudo.org. Music provided by Garland Guillaume. This is a 2019 Greater Works Community Fellowship Church Productions. All rights reserved.